All right, guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm inside new Hyundai Ioniq 6. This is a pre-production car. And in this video, I want to show you the multimedia, the cockpit, and also the dashboard. Uh, first of all, the visibility and the position on those vegan leather seats. It's fabulous. I mean, as Hyundai uses in the last years, everything inside here, it's eco-friendly and it's really good quality. And I like very much uh, how are the materials. Uh, and I try to make a full review. So uh, stay, stay close guys, because next days uh, will come also a full review with the car. But now I want to focus a little bit of multimedia. Now, first of all, I want to start with the new mirrors that will come on this Ionic 6. Look at the mirrors, they are fabulous. It's a camera there and they are super, super nice. Also, the camera will project the image right here in this area, the same as I would try it with a few models. Uh, now Hyundai also bring it on this Ionic 6. And in my opinion, it's a good idea. The visibility is great and also the resolution. So from the point of view of driver, you have great, great resolution um, and yeah. I think it's 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 a good idea. Not only that, but Hyundai come also uh, bring on the car this 360 degrees camera. You have the normal view, you have the hook view, uh, and you have also the wide view. And of course, if you press this button here, you have 360 degrees camera. Those things I really really want to show you because I think it's very important uh, to 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 tell you and to show you and. It's great that Hyundai bring it on Ionic 6, also this uh, new 360 degrees camera. Now I want to deactivate this. Uh, the stalk is down here under the steering wheel, so you can change the gears from here. The steering wheel is kind of the same as on Ionic 5. Uh, I like the fact that the driving mode are here on the button. It's very easy to change the different driving modes, sport mode, eco mode and normal mode. Uh, the car comes with three different driving modes, depending on which mode you are. Also, the cockpit will change. The cockpit is kind of the same cockpit as you find it on Ionic 5. And I have a full review with it. You can see on the right side, you can see the range of the car. Uh, and you can see also a lot of information there in the middle. Like, for example, right now you see the adaptive cruise control uh, with autopilot. You see the consumption right here. Also, if you go on the next one, you have the navigation information. And here you have also uh, on every wheel information about the wheel, the traction and stuff like that. Anyway, it's a very simple cockpit, but the visibility is great. Here you have the controllers for the cockpit. Uh, and also for the autopilot and here on the other side you have the controller for the multimedia system and the voice command down here you have the climatic system on somehow uh, kind of a touch screen uh, it's very responsive and it looks relatively nice to be honest i like it also you have some shortcut buttons here for the navigation so all you have to do is just press those shortcut buttons and then you go directly to the uh, to the navigation system now if you want to turn it off you just put it off from here and it's it's off right now now the multimedia system it's a big screen here i don't know how big it is probably 10 uh, inch around there and this is the home screen it shows you this nice sedan electric car and it shows you also uh, this is the main screen how many kilometers you can still drive with it and this is kind of all the menu where you can go in different uh, settings for example here we have the EV settings where you find all those settings of the car also here the car come with V2L that means you can also charge other um, um, I don't know gadgets or if you want to give energy to something you can give energy uh, to some other car or whatever uh, um, whatever gadget or electronic you want to give energy from then you have the map the same map uh, as you find it also on the all new Hyundai cars it's a very good map uh, very good navigation system warmer and ventilation if i'm not wrong the car come with ventilation on the seats in the front seats and also with heated seats and you can activate it and deactivate them from here very simple it's just like that plus and minus then you have the driver the passenger heating steering wheel the car come with a lot of features and also i will show you if you go to um where is this the climatic system then you have the settings if you go to settings if you go to vehicle settings you will see that on the vehicle settings you have all that safety features incredible a lot of safety features that the car come with so you can see here uh, the smart cruise control you have the speed limit here uh, you have the warning volume the hap 
haptic, uh, haptic warning, uh, the attention, driver attention, leading vehicle departure alert. Then you have the driver safety like forward collision and lane safety and blind spot technology, Brian's view and exit safety, parking safety here, all the sensors. You can activate it and deactivate them from here. Then you have the driving mode. From here, you can change different driving mode. You can also customize the different driving mode, the, the brake, how you like to have it, sport or normal. Um, also customize here my drive mode and snow mode. Then you have driver mode, change alert and all that stuff. You can kind of customize it from here, from the main menu. Active sound here, active sound de de device, design, active sound design. It's like, it's you can choose from here which kind of noise you want the car to make when you drive at low speed. Head up display, activate, deactivate from here, cluster, instrument cluster and all that settings are here. The climatic system and all the information of the climatic seats, light uh, are here. Kind of the same array as you find it on other uh, Hyundai cars. So overall, um, it's 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 a good good multimedia system. I think it's one of the best in my opinion between the best multimedia system on the on the Market these days here. We have also the charging uh, Information so from here you find all this charging information like current charging battery condition Utility mode here and also smart recuperation. You can choose how you like uh, the car to re recuperate energy and by the way with this recuperation you have also those pedals behind the steering wheel plus and minus and you can choose the energy recuperation very simple or you can choose also from here from the settings charging connector lock mode and plug-in charge also you have here uh, all the settings of the car anyway overall those are the most important settings um, I just want to show you shortly uh, all the settings uh, the most important settings of the car and I will do a full review with the car as soon as I can and there you can see a little bit more the head-up display guys you can see it in the front there it's a good head-up display directly on the windshield and this is a good thing this is something that I like to see uh, in all the cars directly on the windshield a good visibility uh, and a good view there on the head-up display other than that lovely car lovely interior uh, it's a beautiful um, design in the interior and it feels really nice and also it has some nice ambient light on the doors and everywhere here anyway guys that was the video also here you have some LEDs and also the mirror with an LED light here it's no more bulb light it's LED this time so Hyundai hers hear me out this is good anyway that was the video thank you for watching um, stay safe don't forget to like share subscribe and see you soon in the next one bye guys